Hello. Welcome to this introductory presentation of Dr. David Dutcher's Manipulated Rapture. People have been writing books and making movies about the epic battles between good and evil for many years. In fact, that's what makes books and movies interesting. Consider Star Wars. If there isn't an antagonist, there really isn't a story. There must be a villain somewhere, someone for the protagonist to defeat. After all, what fun would it be for the hero, 007 for example, to rescue the damsel in distress, unless he had to do battle for her? But this story, Manipulated Rapture, takes this battle to a new level. It addresses the idea that at some point in time, there will be a final battle waged for the souls of all humans. At least that's what Charles Stevens believed. In this story, that battle is fought between two men, one good and one very evil. The story begins by introducing these two men as childhood friends. They share their hopes, dreams, and aspirations with each other. Even as a young boy, Charles Stevens knows what he wants to be. That is, the world's greatest Christian preacher. William Bates is quick to belittle Charles's goal, calling it a waste of time. A couple of lines from the story give an example of his attitude. But why do you believe all that Bible stuff? Billy continued. And how can you understand it? All those thous and shalts and wilts and begats would cause anyone to travail, to say nothing of the shalt nots. Little did they know that they would face off later in life in a contest that would determine the eternal destiny of everyone. As the story progresses, Charles pursues his goal and becomes a preacher and William, a genius entrepreneur, realizes his dream as well and becomes the richest man on earth. Bent on proving to Charles that his beliefs are fantasy, William decides to invest as much of his acquired wealth as he must in order to trigger the events that Charles believes must happen and prove the rapture of the church is a myth. One at a time, William triggers the series of events that must occur for the rapture to take place as Charles has outlined. He does this by manipulating people and countries, buying them, and causing time and events to fast forward. If anyone doubts that these events can't be manipulated, I invite you to read this fascinating story to see just how possible it might be. Draw your own conclusion. Does William succeed, or does Charles stop him? Find the answer in Manipulated Rapture. You'll be stunned.